Today we are doing a day in the life. Oh my God, I'm really excited to be filming this video. So I'm gonna take you guys through my day. I'm already running super late, so I'm mad at myself. I was supposed to be up at five o'clock and it is six o'clock, so I slept and I went to sleep at 10 o'clock. So I don't know why I couldn't get up to bed. But anywho, um, so I didn't make it to the gym this morning. So I'm gonna have to go to the gym when I get off of work. It is now 6.07. 608, whatever. All right, like the good mother I am, before I eat, I'm gonna make sure I just spray my plant. So that now I have three plants and this is just like a spray bottle just gonna spray them try to spray them like in the morning i don't know i don't know if i'm doing a great job with the bees but i've been doing a little more research on my plants because i feel like they were kind of like dying on me a little bit i don't know if you guys have any suggestions if you guys know anything about plants let me know how do my plant babies look I feel like they could look a little better. Then I like to look at my little to-do list for the day so I know what I have to do. So this is what my weekly meal plan looks like. I kind of try to plan my meals for the day just so I can make sure I'm eating my calories. Y'all know, oh, by the way, look at my nails. They are super cute. Um, these are inspired from Aaliyah's face. If you guys watch her, thought those nails were so cute, so I decided to get them on myself. These are my real nails, though. I don't have acrylics. We just use a, um, almost like a gel polish. A little bit harder than a gel to get this, but yeah. Anywho, so I was supposed to work out today, but I did not, so now I'm gonna skip this part and do this later, but we're gonna make a smoothie for breakfast. All right, so here is my smoothie. Mm -hmm. I had to add ice because I forgot. It looks so good. Oh, let me taste it. Mm. This is probably like much granola I really would should have did two ounces but I end up doing four so I'm about to be eating <laughs> granola but let me go ahead and check these calories like I'm like I normally do 480 for the granola so we're gonna go to diary at oh also for breakfast we're having granola I'm gonna pack my lunch and I'm trying to go ahead and make my lunches ahead of time so I know what I'm taking. So here's my lunch. You guys will see that for later. Um, what else is on my list? So for lunch we're having a salmon salad and then I'm taking um, some chocolate. Kind of already pre-packaged everything too. I'm not taking pretzels today, but I kind of separate these into like 130 calories. If you guys really are interested in how I'm trying to maintain my calories and everything, let me know. And I will have, be happy to do a video on what I eat, maybe how I'm gaining weight, um, how I'm maintaining these calories, because it has been hard for me to maintain calories. But pre-packaging, -pre pre-planning has been the best. And normally I'll just like know how many calories is in each thing I plan. So I'm taking the same time taking chocolate. Um taking cookies. Mmm. Cookies and nuts are on here today. So nuts.
Cookies are usually like the Belvia cookies or some peanut butter cookies. But I guess I'll probably take, um, I guess I'll take these. Yeah. This is too much granola. I don't recommend this, but I gotta do it because I already made it. This is the best water bottle. I got this from Target. Or Walmart. Uh -uh. All right, and so now I'm gonna get ready to work, y'all. These dance coach shoes are the best, and normally I keep this bin by my door to grab everything I need for the day, pin lights, thickener, whatever, put it in my pockets, and go right out the door. I usually have to be to work around eight o'clock. I work from eight to 4.30. Some days my hours may change, but typically it's usually just been eight to 4.30. Okay. Let's go to work. <laughs> okay, so I'm on the way to work and I do not have a stand for my camera. So I'm actually gonna probably just turn my camera off and I'll just talk to you guys when I get to work or throughout the day. So you kind of can see how that goes. But basically I'm a speech language pathologist. We basically treat anyone with any type of swallowing or communicative disorders and that could be secondary to other disorders i actually work in the medical setting so i work between an outpatient and acute care so i work with children usually most of my children are either developmentally delayed they have articulation um, errors expressive receptive language delay some of them have autism so things like that that's what I see, and I also see some so, see some adults there. Um, the adults that I see are, I think I have a swallowing patient, an old stroke patient, um, so expressive receptive language, and he speaks Spanish, so I'm doing a little bit of Spanish with him. I use a translator because I don't, I'm not fluent in Spanish. And that's pretty much it. When I go to acute care, it's all adults. COVID patients, a lot of them have swallowing disorders, see some cognitive communication deficits, some have dementia, some had a stroke on the right side of their brain. Um, what else? Some are recovering from pneumonia, so they're having some difficulty coordinating the breath support they need to swallow properly, so they're having some swallowing difficulties. That is pretty much what I see in acute care. I probably won't be able to explain all this later, so that's why I'm giving you guys a brief now, so we're gonna go ahead and get into my day. It's gonna be a long day. Once I get home, I gotta work out and I have a few little things to do. So let's get it. Cool. Okay, so my sister told me, I guess I'm lame. I've always been pretty lame. I really don't consider myself a trendy person. I say things and she's like, yeah, Diamond, nobody says that anymore. That's like, five years ago you need to change your lingo so let's get it probably maybe really old I, I don't know but it's something I would say I just I say what I want to say I'm just like in my own little, my own little lame lane so anybody else out there can relate you know cheers to us <laughs> Okay, I have made it to work and I'm about to clock in right now and pull up my schedule for the day. So after I have clocked in, I usually go ahead and pull up my schedule. This way I am able to see who all is coming in for the day, maybe who canceled over the weekend or who canceled, you know, the day before because I've only worked in half days here at Outpatient. So I write a charge seat because we have to fill this out and turn this in at the end of the day. So I kind of go ahead and do that to help my day. Also, when I see a pediatric patient, I just saw my little kiddo, and this is one thing I really love to do with us. He really likes it. He is nonverbal, so I just print out the little photos, and he can give me the one he wants, and then I'll give him the item. So he has to request it in that manner. Then, of course, we have to be sandy sandy and clean up everything. I also like to use blocks. I can do that with colors. I can do use the animals. Like, children learn through play is the best way to teach. Then, of course, I'm going to document. I have to usually write up a note. We do it in like the soap form. So we write the subjective part, we write an objective part, we write the assessment, and we write the 
a plan for the next day. And then this is this guy oh. has expressive receptive language uh, deficit, so we work on naming, labeling, identifying. So I kind of use the different words. They're all in Spanish because we speak Spanish. And so he has to either label the item or I request the item, he has to grab it. So we kind of go back and forth with that. It's also like to use it with just pictures. Uh, and I've put labels on all the pictures and that's a good way for us to work on express expressive and receptive language. There's so many ways we could use this. It is time for lunch. So I'm eating basically it's like a salad with beans and corn and egg and salmon and avocado and a lot of goodness. And I also have to put this in my calculator. I don't know how many calories this is. <laughs> so, I'm gonna be playing a little game. It's actually gonna be okay if I fall a little short today because I did not finish that smoothie, y'all. I still got like, maybe two, maybe one third left. I'm a duty but I have to go to get you care next, so I'm gonna be leaving here and going across the street. Don't really know how much I'm gonna be able to film in you care, but I'll, I can't really be on my phone on the clock filming and all that good jazz. But I'll try to record while I'm doing something and let y'all see what I'm doing. But I'm hungry, so I'm about to eat. And then we'll get back to it. Even though today was a light day, there's always so much hard work to do. I'm still catching up on different discharges that I have to complete. I also was on the phone with almost an hour for an insurance company trying to get off for a child. So there's always something that comes throughout the day. All right, it is the end of my shift and I am headed home, clocking out, walking out, all that good jazz. And I'm tired. I didn't really do nothing today, but I'm tired. So today was a pretty light day in acute care. So the only thing I actually did was uh, observe a MBS, modified barium swallow study. And so I observed an MBS, a modified barium swallow study. We just kind of observed, there was a patient that was having some trouble swallowing food. We actually did a test so we could actually go and see the anatomy of her swallow. And she actually was perfect perfect it was beautiful so that is my day guys sorry don't have much to talk about in the cute care because nothing really happened but next time i can you know if i do this again i'll definitely let you guys know some more stuff so i'm about to go home and i got some stuff to do all right so i had to come to the gym i'm trying to get all my time in so right now i'm working on shoulder exercises just because i actually fell off a horse so i am trying to you know strengthen those muscles and I kind of sped through this, but I did a lot more. It doesn't look like it, but I really did work out for like a good hour. I just finished my workout at my apartment gym and now I'm hungry. It's been a long day in the life, oh my God. All right, we are at the end of the day. Y'all, I twisted my hair because I'm just gonna try to wear this for a couple days, especially since I have my little um, medical head thing. Can't think of the name of it right now. But I am cooking dinner. I worked out, as you guys saw. Now I'm cooking dinner, making me some shrimp. I also already made some rice and, pe rice and beans. And I'm also cooking my um, salmon for my lunch tomorrow. Yes, okay, for me, it's all about the plating. I don't know about y'all, even if I'm eating by myself, I like to plate my food, not all the time, but when I'm feeling good, I'll plate it, just because it just makes it look good, look, makes it look a little more appetizing, gives me that little extra, 
mm, like girl you did that and I did I did y'all and so now I'm gonna just eat my lunch and just chill y'all it's dinner time I'm gonna eat this dinner and just chill and work on some things I also have a business if you guys didn't know it's called the SLP way if you're a speech language pathologist in the medical field therapy field go ahead and follow subscribe do all that good jazz um so i'm an entrepreneur guys essentially and i am just working on uh labels packaging getting things together to ship off the first product that i've ever sold um it was really fun it was a great experience i've learned a lot of things i learned some things that i actually need to change and adjust for next time but it was definitely a great learning experience and i really want to continue to do it because there's so many people that i want to help i have so many other goals that I wanted to do with this business. But I wanna go ahead and say thank you for tuning into this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. If you did and you wanna see some more like this, let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to do that for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.